What's up, family? This is DJ Gospel Guru, a.k.a. Gospel Guru, in the house, in the UG Man Studios with my man Aaron West. What's up, y'all? What's up? He's going to kind of let you know what he's doing, what he got going on. Like I said, he's number two. Kaiser Jones was number one, but he's number two. But not to be left behind, my man is getting busy for the Lord. If you put it down for the Lord, just holler at us at 614-847-2057. Come through, do a little shout out. It don't take long. You know, get some nachos, get some chips. We're housed in Christian nightlife. Um, every Saturday night we put it down, so you can just come through, drop through, you know, let everybody know what's going on. We put it up on YouTube, we we'll have our own station and channel. Streaming TV coming real soon. Everything will be shot live and direct. But anyway, I'm going to let Aaron talk to you, let you know what he's putting down in Columbus, Ohio. What's up, world? Hey, listen, my name's Aaron West. Um, I'm doing, a, you know, doing s s several things that I'm working on right now. i got a few projects that I'm working on. I got a few different companies that I, you know, that I'm running. Uh, number one company that I'm working with right now is my company's called uh, Imperial Marketing and Design. And what we do, uh, we're a graphic design company. We're actually a, an ad agency. We do graphic design. We do uh, brand building for companies and for individuals. So um, right now, I'm working on a couple projects with uh, a couple book covers that I'm working on, a couple CD covers, some arrangements, a few media kits. So you know, we're doing it big in those ways, trying to help people visually take their project to the next level. So you know, we, our our, uh, our product is pretty strong. You know, we got some national things that we've been working on. Uh, competing on a national level, you know, high scale stuff. So it's good, man. God has been good to us, and uh, you know, it's continuing to grow. You know, we're just looking for the opportunity to help people get their projects polished, and you know, in a, in, a, in a good way. You know what I'm saying? You know, so you know, we got that going on. Then I have another company that I'm working. It's called uh, Grind Boy Entertainment. That's my entertainment company. And what we're doing with that? You know, I always like the position our company to be that person that takes whoever has desire, whoever has vision to that next level. And with Grindable Entertainment, you know, there's a lot of talent in our area, but there's not a lot of people that know how to take that talent to the next level in a excellent way. You know what I'm saying? You find it in LA, you find it in Atlanta, you find it in New York, but you know, we got a lot of talent in the Midwest. And, uh, you know what I'm saying? So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to take Grindable Entertainment from a promotional uh, manage, management scale and getting artists to where they want to be, you know what I'm saying? Because nobody's in this thing just for, you know, just for the fun of it. You obviously, you come in with a goal, you come in with a vision, and a lot of times, you know, it's the team that you build around you that gets you there, you know what I'm saying? No one makes it out of team. Exactly. Have a team with folks. Exactly. So, you know, that's my that's my goal, that's my mission for Grand Boy Entertainment, you know, is to just help you. Is it just you? Who else is involved with it? Well, right now it's me and I got a partner uh, and I got a, a street team that I work with that I'm you know that's trying to that I'm trying to work. I'm trying to develop some young people okay. to help me in the future. Street. Exactly. You know what I mean? That's one thing we gotta learn when we get that gray and we gotta learn how to scoot over. <laughs> we gotta go there with it. That's we right. we gotta right. learn how to scoot over and use right. wisdom. Like I know Lauren can be the front, you know, we gotta Exactly. Cause I remember back in the day we was grinding on stage together, you yeah. know, you and your man. Yeah. And I was yeah. like, we was young, and that's right. But now we just recognizing that we a little bit older, we got a little bit wiser, so right. Right. move out the way. I think God is using us to really lay the foundation by the wisdom and knowledge that we right. already have right. to, to help them. That's what all this stuff is really about. You know, it's about yeah. young people and making avenues for them to shine. And you know, the the, the crazy thing about it is, uh, Sean, is that. You know, you got a lot of young people that that are misdirected. Right. You know, with with what they see on BET and MTV. church people. Exactly. They don't think they can be God and be be like this. Right. They right. think they have to compromise. Right. Right. Not there was a time where I ain't said they had to compromise, but there was a time where we had to use secular beats because Christian Christian beats was whack. Right. I ain't gonna even lie. I was exactly. a DJ, so yeah. they used to persecute me while you're using secular beats. Right. I'm like, because Christian beats are horrible. Right. <laughs> See, there you go. See now, you know. With you know the pioneership that you've established, and you know the things that we're trying to do, with like you say, the wisdom that we we obtained just through you know you know getting our teeth, you know cutting our teeth on certain things, um, you know that's where I'm going with it. You know, I mean, because I see these young people, they got talent, they got drive, they got desire, but they don't have the right team. You know what I'm saying? They got people that are around them that are either taking advantage of them or, you know, just leave them the wrong way. They're trying to do it from what they see on television and, you know, and a lot of that stuff is just so fantasy, they don't get it. So, you know, with Grind Boy, man, we, you know, we're just trying to make it happen for people in that, in that I like way. that name, too, because it doesn't necessarily, a lot of times Christians think they got to say, 
Jesus boy or right. Jesus sandwich, you know, right. Right. to be Christian. That's not necessarily the case. Right. Joseph was put in the prison as Joseph. That's right. You know, he worked in Egypt. That's right. And like, you know, God God let him go through that right. and made him the man throughout that. Right. Well, see, my whole thing, man, is, is with, with everything that I'm doing, I'm trying to do it in a stealth type of way. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because Even when the <laughs> that's right. Because when I, if I come in with that with that mindset, you know, people already they already put that 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 shield up. So you, you know, but if I get in there, it's a wrap. So right. you know, I, I I position myself in that way on that man. And so with Brian Boy, that's what we're doing. And then I got another thing that I'm trying to do with the magazine. It's called Gents Magazine, and, and it comes from a program that I'm starting uh, called Gents. Um, and, and it's really designed for young men who are in the streets, you know, that that, that this guy, man, gets in an elevator with most people. They, they, they shrink, shrink back. They don't know what to do with him because they're intimidated. But, you know, I'm trying to take that kind of guy and give him a purpose and give him a reason. You know what I'm saying? And once he gets that reason and that purpose, he establishes himself to be, become somebody. Yeah, because really what happens, because me being six foot six and a black man, even dressed professionally, I see Timmy. women clutching their purses and stuff. Right. And what happens, it'll make me have a complex right. and make me have an attitude. Even if I don't have one, it'll be like, well, they treat me like I'm a thug, so right. I might as well my mindset. But right. with young people, they get that. It's something wrong because they'll start dressing different right. in their mentality. We don't want that to happen because... Right. They kings and queens. Exactly. Regardless if we're accepted here or not, that's who we are. Exactly. And that's and that's what Gents is all about. So the Gents magazine is going to be an online magazine. So check it out. Uh, it'll be coming out. I don't have a website or anything yet, but you know, check me out. You can check everything I'm doing out at uh, myspacecom slash Aaron West. And um, everything that I got that I'm doing, I've got a Grind Boy page as well. It's uh, myspacecom slash Grind Boy E. So just uh, go in there, and I, you'll see a lot of the stuff that I'm doing. And uh, just check it out, man, and you know, and support. But that's one thing that we gotta understand that, that gets us to the next level as well is when we support each other, we wrap our wrap arms around each other, and we say go for it. And when we do that, everybody comes with us. That's right. You know what I'm saying? So that's what what's going on. Uh, the, the 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 magazine is going to be real elegant, real nice as far as uh, what the content is about. It's going to you know show. Uh, men in the in the industry, as far as gospel and even in secular, that's doing positive things. That's being an example to these young men on, on how to do it and how to do it right. So that's what we're doing. That's what Jesus was for us. He was the the example. example right. And we're trying our hardest to live up exactly, to it. Right, exactly. Right. The best we can for all of our ability. Yeah. So that's 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 a wrap, man. You know, check my man Aaron West out. You know, we'll have all his information at the end of the thing. It'll be scrolling down, just like everybody come and put it down. We'll make sure you can get in contact with him because I'm sure there's somebody out there. You're gonna hear the message from these brothers and sisters coming here, and we want you to connect with them. Like he said, support. We all need each other. You know, just like Hezekiah's song says, "I need you." You know, we all need each other to survive. Once again, this is DJ Gospel Guru signing out for you, Jim. Man, God bless and stay up.